Let's talk about the brewery of tomorrow. Is it possible to be CO2 neutral and self-sufficient? Yes, it is. With the Crohn's concept of brewnomic, there's lots of potential to save energy. We're talking about this right now with Ralf Schneid and Norbert Ottmann. Welcome. Hello. So let's start right at the beginning. How can you reduce your energy consumption? Well, the brewing process itself is very energy consuming in terms of thermal and electrical energy. And this can be reduced in three steps. First, you have to reduce the demand for the brewing process. Second, you have to recover energy wherever possible. And thirdly, you can use alternative energy sources for supplying the brewing process. And this is United here at Crohn's under the concept of brewnomic. Please tell us more about it. Brewnomic is like a big puzzle consisting of many um, single modules, which can be combined and can be implemented either in existing breweries or they can be used as a concept for a Greenfield Brewery project. For example, in a brew house, you can reduce the thermal energy demand with our water boiling system Stromboli, or you can recover energy with our Equiterm system, where you recover thermal energy from the water cooling process, and with this energy, you're going to supply the meshing process. What about further areas and processes? Um, starting with the ice water temperature in the cellar uh, at one hand, um, by increasing that ice water temperature, um, we can save cooling energy and therefore uh, electrical energy. On the next step, it could be a warm beer filling. Um, warm beer filling by uh, cooling down fresh water. And with that, we can also uh, save energy, cooling energy and electrical energy. Then going further into the filling and uh, packaging area, with that warm beer filling, we can also save some thermal energy in the pasteurization area and also in the bottle washer. On the other hand, we can uh, make some improvements at the supply technology. Uh, there we can cool down uh, or yeah, cool down the chilling system by, uh, for example, with the uh, cold beer uh, to increase the efficiency of that uh, chilling system. Then we can also use some uh, heat pumps, for example, to recover energy, thermal energy. Uh, and furthermore, we can also use some uh, renewable energies like uh, solar th thermal energy or some photovoltaics. And at the end, we can also use some residual materials like spent grains. Okay. Talking about residual materials, how can they be reused? Till now, the spent grains, for example, have been put to a biogas plant where they have been transferred to methane gas. With this gas, a combined heat and power plant, for example, has been fired and the energy has been supplied to the brewing process. But especially the spent grains are rich in proteins. We are nowadays talking about a biomass conversion process, where we are firstly extracting these proteins from the spent grains and put it to other industries as an, a raw material. And from the leftovers, we are going to produce biogas in order to supply energy to the brewery. And Kronos already has positive experiences with breweries using that concept. Can you give us an insight on that? Yes, um, the brewery Oostersbach is also using uh, uh, lots of modules uh, of the brewnomic, uh, for example, uh, warm beer filling and also the combined heat and power system. But there are also other uh, breweries using parts of that brewnomic concept. Thank you very much for giving me these interesting insights and also an outlook to the future to the brewery of tomorrow. Thanks.